Let's talk about that and other things. Time for the Good Catch Fishing Report with Captain Dylan Hubbard. He's over at uh, Hubbard's Mar Marina in Madeira Beach. Hey, Dylan, how you doing? Hey, how are you today, Russell? We're good. We're good here. Thank you. Hey, before we get to what's biting, I want to ask you really fast about uh, about red tide. We got Liz Fry on that story this morning. You seeing anything from where you are? We're not seeing anything here inside John's Pass. Right now, it's pretty far to the south still. It's okay. starting to kind of creep up around that South Shore, Tampa Bay area, but it's still very low levels. So hoping and praying it kind of stays like that. It's one of those naturally occurring things that sometimes will come and will go just as fast as it shows up. So it's been around since about April and hasn't really uh, come of anything. So I'm hoping this okay. is just a, a quick spike before it dissipates, but it definitely moves the fish around and those fish tend to stay ahead of that red tide as it moves so if that red tide starts pushing out of the mouth of tampa bay mm -hmm. those fish will be on that leading edge and like back in 2017 when we had that really bad red tide yeah we actually had incredible fishing right ahead of it as those fish moved out of its way uh, i know a lot of folks are going to be out uh, fishing for the free weekend this weekend so let's uh, let's talk about what's biting inshore well, right now, snook is the big thing inshore. That summertime snook bite is just incredible. I, I was talking to some of the beach fishermen this morning, and you can catch as many as you want at night around those bridge lights, dock lights, around our passes. During the day on the beautiful beaches, there's plenty of snook. Still in the back bay around those mangrove shorelines, grass flats, active snook feeding on live shrimp, pinfish, even greenbacks and soft plastics moving slowly over the top of the grass flats are a great way to target snook and also redfish. The redfish action has been really good as of late around our local structures of the passes, around the mangrove shorelines, grass flats, oyster bars, all great areas to find actively feeding redfish. Look for them following those schools of mullet too. We're seeing a lot of pompano still around the beaches and around our local passes and bridges. We're seeing still plentiful mackerel Along, along our beach fishing piers, around the Skyway fishing pier, especially in the early morning. The trout bite has remained steady around those edges, pockets, and little cuts of the grass flats, anywhere they can lie in wait and ambush passing bait. Mangrove snapper continues to be prolific and super aggressive around the local docks, bridges, piers, seawalls. Still plenty of black drum around too, and the tarpon bite is really going well. There's tons of tarpon in the area right now. Nice. And that's about it. Inshore, Russell. Well, let's hit uh, near shore and offshore in the time we have left. Well, the big news that we have to talk about is that red snapper season. It opened up for private recreational anglers today, and it has just been a boat parade behind me since wow. about 4 a.m. Have big boats heading offshore to capitalize on this very short red snapper season. A lot of big fish to be had. The red snapper love larger cut dead baits like cut bonita strips, squid strips, octopus tentacles, even live baits like pinfish, pigfish, squirrelfish and even vertical jigs too. They're super aggressive. They're super prolific. Once you get out there past about 120 to 140 foot, you're looking for those big shows up in the water. They're chasing those baits. And once you get on top of them, it's hard to leave them. It's a lot of fun. Deep water, about 60 pound test and about a six to seven odd circle hook is a great way to start. Just please don't forget your venting tool or descending yeah. device and make sure you take care of any fish that you're gonna discard. So they live another day. And uh, we got more to talk about, but we'll catch it next week, Russell. It's a deal. It's a deal. You know, it sounds like a perfect weekend. I mean, everything you've said this morning, it sounds like a perfect weekend to go fishing. I'm just, I'm just so busy. Well, don't forget, <laughs> Russell, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. And there it is. Dylan, thanks, man. Good to see you. Tell everybody hello. We love them. See you. Bye. See you guys. Thank you.